hello welcome to my channel today this is the king's tutor first time of joining us ensure you like comment share and subscribe to our channel okay now i want to see um the number eight question of the yec 2023 we'll say we are doing a series okay so we've seen number nine now let's see number eight of the yec account in 2023 and the question said easy way limited produces disposable product for the health sector Information available for the year ended 31st December 2021 is as follows. Sales is 342,000 Ghana cities. Raw materials purchased 140,500 Ghana cities. Direct labor 70,300. The position of plant and machinery 24,400. Delivery expenses 10,000. Discount allow 5,000. Direct expenses 10,000. Rent 12,000. Electricity 13,000. And the position of vehicles 5,600. The stock for the first January 2021 raw materials 60,400 Ghana cities, work in progress 45,000 Ghana cities, finished goods 39,200 Ghana cities. Then for 31st, which is the closing stock, raw materials 50,600 Ghana cities, work in progress 40,200, finished goods 20,900. The additional information. Said a portion rent, electricity, and depreciation of vehicles to factory and office in the ratio 3 to 2, respectively. You are required to prepare manufacturing, trading, and profit and loss account for the year ended in first December 2021. Okay, now this question relates to the manufacturing account that was set. We have done manufacturing accounts in this channel, full video. I'm gonna drop the link up here or I'll drop it in my description so you watch it okay so let's solve this question now the first thing they said we should do let's read the additional information they said a portion rent electricity and the precision of vehicles to factory and office in the ratio three is to two so they gave us a ratio to apportion these two okay so that's what we are gonna do so if we start by adjustment and the name of the owners are called Easy Way Limited. Easy Way Limited. So, now the social portion in this rate, 3 is to 2 for factory and office. So, if we start by saying our factory is 3 and our office is 2. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. This is the totality. Okay, so now the first one is the portion of rent, electricity, and the position of vehicles. So it is this three. So let's start from the first one, which is the rent. Okay, so it means we are going to apportion the rent for factory and office. So for rent for factory, will now be factory is three. So it is three over the total is five times the amount for rent. So let's check here what's the amount for rent? 12,000. So we'll have 12,000 over 1. Okay, so 3 over 5 times 12,000 will give us 7,200. Okay, so that is the factory. Now the next one is the office. Office is 2, so it will be 2 over 5 times 12,000. Okay, so this will give us 4,800. Now, this is such that when you add this two, it's supposed to give us the total. Okay? So that is for rent. Now, let's do for electricity. So if we have for electricity, so we have factory. So we have 3 over 5 times. The electricity total is 13,000. So I have 3 over 5 times 13,000. Okay, over 1. So we'll have 3 over 5 times 13,000 will give us 7,800. Okay, that's a factory. Then office 2 over 5. So I have office. 2 over 5 times 13,000. So 2 over 5 times 13,000 will give us 5,200. Okay, so that's electricity. 
Now, the last part is the position of Virgo. The position of Virgo, the total is 5, 6. So, I'm going to have the position of Virgos. So, the first one for factory, it is 3 over 5 times 5,600. Okay, 3 over 5 times 5,600 will give us 3,360. Why? For office, it will be 2 over 5 times 5,600. So we'll have 2,240. Okay, so this is the only adjustment that was given. So now let's now prepare the manufacturing trading profit loss account. Okay. So we're going to start. Now the first thing in the format is opening stock of raw materials. Okay. Is gonna see this opening stock of raw materials. Now we check here. This is stock of raw materials. Opening is one at the beginning date. So it is 60,400. So we have 60,400. Okay. So the next thing is to add purchases. So I have add purchases of raw materials. Okay. Purchase of raw materials. So they say raw materials purchase here is 140,500. So we have 140,500. Okay, so if we add this, this will give us 900, this is 0, this is 6, so this is giving us 200,900, okay, that's the purchase of raw materials. Now we're going to check if there's carriage in what, or if there's carriage in what, there's no carriage in what, um, there's no return outwards. So let's check the closing stock of raw materials, 52,600. So right here, let's close in stock of raw materials 52,600 okay so if we do that this is zero zero this is nine minus six will give us three this is ten eight this is nine this is four and one that's one forty eight thousand three hundred okay now the next thing is to start adding all direct expenses direct expenses. So we'll start from there. The first one is direct label. So we have direct label. Okay. So direct label is 70,300. 70, okay. So add on your direct expenses here. 10,000. So we have direct expenses. 10,000. Check if there's other direct, there is none. Okay, so add it 7,300 to this will give us 80,300. Okay, so if we add this to this, this is 0, 0, this is 6, this is 8, and this is 2, 2. So 228,600. So this becomes our prime cost. Okay. Prime cost 228,600. So the next thing is to prepare our factory overhead. Factory overhead. So the factory overhead includes all indirect expenses. Okay. So now we're going to start from here so that we don't miss anything. We have the precision of plant and machinery. So we'll have the precision. Of plant and machinery. Okay, how much is this? 24,400. Okay, so the next one we'll check is rent. Now, the reason we're touching rent is because we did adjustments, splitting it into factory and office. So for the factory, this is 7,200. So right here, 
factory rent seven thousand two hundred. Okay, then electricity. We did adjustment also factory electricity. Seven thousand eight hundred. Why right, the next one? The position of vehicles. So I have factory the position of vehicles. Three thousand three sixty. Okay. So no other indirect cost here. So we're gonna add it. So two twenty eight thousand six hundred plus twenty four thousand four hundred plus seven two plus seven eight plus three thousand three sixty. Now from my calculator, this will give me two hundred and seventy one thousand three sixty. Okay. So now we'll move to the work in progress. So check here is open stock of work in progress fourteen five thousand. That's the next thing from our format. Please ensure you check it in the playlist of manufacturing account. So we have opening stock of work in progress appreciation. So it's for the five thousand. So we have for the five thousand. Okay. So add it. This will give us zero six three six. Is eleven one three. That's three one six three sixty. Okay, so the next thing is less closing stock of work in progress. Okay, now this is the stock of work in progress forty thousand two hundred. So uh, forty thousand two hundred. Okay, so if we deduct that now. This minus this is a zero, this is six, three minus two is one, this is six. Now thirty-one minus four will give us twenty-seven. Okay? So it's twenty-seven thousand two hundred six seventy six thousand one sixty. So this is what we now call the cost of production. Two seven six thousand one sixty cost of production. Now this amount is what is also posted here as our cost of production. Okay. Now it's two seventy six one sixty. So that this will not appear here. Two seventy six one sixty. Okay. So now let's prepare now this is manufacturing. Let's prepare now the trading profit. So it will now start with opening stock of finished goods. Now this open stock of finished goods. 39,200. Now remember in our final account, we will now say add purchases, but now because we manufacture it ourselves, it is the cost of production will add. So it will not be add the cost of production which is 276,160 okay so if add this plus this now this will give us 315 360 okay so less is less Closing stock of finished goods. And this is the closing stock of finished goods. 20,900. 20,900. Okay. So, if we do that, uh, this is zero, this is six, this is 13 minus nine. Give us four. This is four. Then 13. Minus 31 minus 2 give us 29. That's 294,460. Okay, so now from this, now we're going to have our sales here. Now, if we check here, what do we have our sales? 342,000. 342,000. Okay, 
so no return inwards so there's no return inwards so nothing will appear here okay so sales minus this is the cost of goods available for sale cost of goods sold will give us a gross profit carried down so the sales minus this cost of goods sold so 342,000 minus 294,460 from my calculator it will give me 47,540 okay so this is 342,000 this will now give us 342,000 so my gross profit is for 7,540 okay so we'll now bring it down as gross profit brought down for the seven thousand five forty. Okay. So now from this now, uh, we now have um our expenses that we'll post at the word profit on account. So let's start from here. So now we don't miss anything. We have done sales, raw materials we've purchased. Earned uh, labor of recorded, depreciation of plant and machinery we've recorded, now delivery expenses we have not recorded. So delivery expenses at this point now will give us 10,000. So I'll write it here. Delivery expenses 10,000. Okay. So another one come down. This can't allow 5,000. So I have discounts allowed 5,000 so come down we've recorded this now remember our rent we broke it down into factory and office so the next one now is office office rent is for it so I have office rent is for it electricity we broke it down also so office so I have office electricity is five two okay why right. the next one is the precision we broke it down office the precision office the precision of vehicles two thousand two forty okay so So that's all there is there okay so we are now going to add up this 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 48 plus 52 plus 240 now remember this is for 7,540 it's greater than this it's for 7,540 okay so this minus all this from my calculator will give us a net profit of 20,300. So now we'll add everything here. This is giving us 47,540. Okay, so that is how to prepare this. So that's the number eight question of the year. Buyer 223 accounting question. Okay, now let's see the next number, which is number seven. Ensure you like this video, comment, Click on the subscribe button and share this video. Okay, thank you very much.